minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. Hey up, welcome to Plus Parks and Attractions. Today we're at Legoland Windsor. Today we're going to have a look around Miniland, see what there is to see. Got India and the Taj Mahal. Looks like we're having a market along here, along the river. We're having like a Bollywood dance in the middle in front of the uh, Taj Mahal, about looks of it. Oh, you have a dancing. And we're on to China, Forbidden City. The Forbidden City was a palace of a Chinese emperor during the Ming and Qing dynasties. It's located in the height of Beijing. Australia, where we share, can you see? the Opera House. We've got New York, Empire State Building and Statue of Liberty. So as these models are amazing. Guggenheim Museum. And over in the distance you can see Las Vegas. I don't know if you can really see Las Vegas from New York. Carousel's moving. Now we've got the White House, the President's cavalcade. Got Donald Trump with his red hat on. Not sure if he's got a pet dog. We've got the president's helicopter landing on the lawn of the White House. And we've got the St. Louis Arch. The amount of detail. This must be Chicago. With a bean. Chicago. That'll be Route 66, under the archway, towards San Francisco. Let's be right. Route 66. So we're having a baseball game and a football game. Someone's broken down. One of the old muffler men that you see on Route 66. Check out one of my other vlogs coming soon of our trip at Route 66. Got the blue whale. Get on Route 66. Been there. Check out our vlog. Texas, Cadillac Ranch. TP Hotel. Yeah, we can break and go. Spaceship.
the Limini land. We're on the Florida coast, Cape Canaveral and NASA. We've got the Rocket Park, the Spatial. We've got the NASA theme park. And the Rocket Park at Cape Canaveral. France, the Arc de Triomphe, Moulin Rouge, Dove Love, in the background we've got the Eiffel Tower, 230,000 bricks, 512 hours to build the Eiffel Tower. Louise is on her way, so she's going to tell me where, which country this is. I guessed it, England. But You're right. It is England. Yeah. I guess that's Tower of London. It looks like medieval England. England. Medieval England, yes. Look at the high rises of London. Got the Lloyds building. Tower Bridge. The Docklands area. Gherkin. Got the London Eye. Buckingham Palace, St Paul's Cathedral, well it's called Miniland, it's actually quite a big area, there are lots of different countries to see, London Eye, the River Thames, got Big Ben, Elizabeth Tower, Houses of Parliament. Buckingham Palace. Drooping the colour. Queen's there on the horse, trooping the colour. The dredging machine. Train is taking call to the power station. We've got the Angel of the North. Time Bridge. 
Windsor. So we've got Windsor Castle. We're in Windsor. Windsor Castle, family home to the British Royal family. We'll go to the back end of Buckingham Palace, the Queen's having a tea party. Trafalgar Square. Got the tube station. London Underground. Edinburgh Castle. Got the piper up at the top of the castle. They're coming around the corner. We've got the Wallace Monument near Stirling. Historic castles of Scotland and the Highland Games. With the pipers on the battlements. In the background, we've got a North Sea rescue going ahead. You can zoom in on that. So we're currently in Miniland um, at Legoland and um, in this wonderful creation we have lots of different countries represented by the wonderful Lego artists and this is currently Holland and as you can see we have the characteristic canals and the beautiful buildings that are so memorable to to me because we've we've had quite a few wonderful trips to Holland and to Amsterdam in particular and if you look over here you'll notice a windmill which again is very characteristic of Holland and if we just have a walk along down here you'll see that there's a lot more of those windmills I absolutely love Holland And look on that, there's a tugboat going around the canals. And again in the distance you can see some uh, windmills. I love how they've recreated all the canals. There's a wonderful church as well in front. And all the theming and the detail that they've put into these works. And they are like works of art. The detail is amazing. And here we are. We're still in um, still in Holland, but I just had to take another shot because the, the architecture, I mean, the architecture in, in Amsterdam and Holland is absolutely beautiful. And I just can't believe that they've, they've managed to create this in Lego because it really does look amazing. I just can't believe that you can reproduce this in, in Lego. It's speechless to be honest. This has definitely been the best thing that I've seen all day, definitely, without a doubt. This was worth the, what, four, five, six hour journey to get here, definitely. And here we are, we're now in Belgium, and uh, I'm not sure if I can stand far enough away to actually show how big this building is. It's huge. It's massive. I 
love this little villa the garden surrounded by some little trees I think that's lovely and in the back there's uh, some little I say little villas they're not little at all really in fact they remind me of something that you'd find in Rome we've got some little sheep that they can reproduce something and you know out of Lego and have it look so architecturally similar to the you know to the model the building model that they're, they're basing it off. I'm trying to decide if this is supposed to be Bruges. I mean I can't see the bell tower but I would associate with with Bruges. But it just reminds me of that with the, the walls around the, the town. Maybe somebody could um, help me with this and tell me where, where exactly in Belgium this bit here is supposed to be. It's, it's many years since I've been to Belgium, so you know I don't want to cause offence, <laughs> but I really don't recognise where this little bit is. But yeah, beautiful work from the Lego artists. 